It's down for Eric Plays Gwent, episode 192. All right, another little bit of Gwent here as I continue my uh, Gwent addiction. Um, today we got a free key. This brings me up to three, two more keys, and I get to finish um, the thing I was doing in the reward book, uh, King Hinsult. Then it's on to Demo Bend. Alright. Um, let's do a regular scene. Maybe later I'll make an entrenched deck. Destroy people and get Ikimaras. Alright, I got Heater Shield or whatever that is. I'll figure it out later. Everyone that comes you, afterwards. You go on ahead. Pick on needed here. And guide of life. And might as well boost the mantlet. Might be useful later if the row in the back gets a little crowded. All right, let's put the trebuchet in. Yes, why not move everyone to the back row? Damn it. Alright, 
he passed. I don't see a reason not to pass. Thankfully, I didn't have to use Anna Stringer. Alright, so we've got this guy and we've got her. But let's see if we can maybe... Two of those guys have. All right. I don't think it was. All right. Let's start with this guy here. Hopefully I get to use Geralt on the Frightener, although it cannot be manually targeted, so, hmm. Alright, anywho. Let's drop out there. I mean, it may be out of my control anyway, because he may kill his own units. I'm in a good place to say pass. It's on you now to put some cards down. If I'm lucky, he doesn't have a way to bring that thing back up from the grave. Ronvid, Mentlet, and that guy. Excellent. Let's get rid of Ronvid. Get rid of Alright, not bad. Alright, dude, you go first. Bad first move, I'll tell you that. Alright. Let's pop this guy. Brothers, we charge on three! Stringer here. This guy's the gift that keeps on giving. Kill that guy with my Geralt.
again and again. The more you know, the less you blunder like a buffoon. and smash you. Got another thing, a drain with flesh. All these contracts being completed. Alright. Let's boost him, because why not? Let's drop my Geralt in right there. Let's get this over there. And the tide has turned. All right, I was certain I was going to lose, but it looks like I'm going to win. Nice! What a turnaround! That was incredible! Hyper novice. Six more to go. Let's claim it. So, ten ranked matches during May. Excellent. Give shield a hundred times. Excellent. Trigger adrenaline keyword ten times. Excellent. Alright, cool. I can finish. Boom. I can't even get skills. Alright, let's see. Cancel did not inspire all with his bandit like countenance. Yeah, you know, Dazzle Ball and Crowds with Charisma. He did not impress Cordios with refinement. You now, Battlefield, one can see Master at work. Angel is capable of determining a catapult's rings down to an inch. He walked among his siege machines, not unlike a proud father, affectionately patting the stones, plucking at the top ropes, as would a troubadour with his harp. Worse was when his attention shifted away from matters of war, for Ansel preferred the company of his siege machines to that of man. He was quick to anger, but not quick to calm. As a result, despite his undisputed talent, Battlefield Cadewin's power did not grow under Henselt's leadership. He failed to gain allies and turn his military victories into lasting successes, though this did not bother the king as he waged war for its own sake. Uh, fate has a twisted sense of humor. King Henselt. One of its many victims, the King of Cadwin often enjoyed boasting of his virility. Following several mugs of stout, he once proudly whispered to a confidant that he had fathered enough bastard children to fill all the thrones of the north, perhaps even several Nifgardian provinces. However, after his only legitimate heir died on a hunting expedition, the king failed to beget another successor to the throne despite his many attempts. Some say it was Henselt's failures in the royal bedchambers that contributed to his explosive temperament. Henselt did not have a kingly countenance, beady, watery, wandering eyes, a bulbous red nose, a large, bushy beard. Such description better suits a bandit than one of the Norse's most prominent monarchs. Aware of less than noble visage, Hensel carefully curated his grand and stately attire, always taking care to bear the royal insignia. He wore an immense belt adorned with silver towers, a 15-ounce chain of solid gold, a crown topped with a royal unicorn, and a crimson kaftan, exquisitely trimmed with weasel fur. But as King Fulton used to say with a smile on his face, a hog festooned with gold remains a hog all the same. Uh, Hensel long refused to accept mages and sorceresses into his court, though, in the end, he eventually included Sabrina Glevisig among his advisors, albeit not as a source of advice, but as another symbol of power, much like an ermine coat or a golden scepter. Rowan the Cadwaini court was one of cosmetic variety, however, Sabrina refused to say silence, sometimes silencing her king with a shout or pounding her fist on the table. In time, she earned Hensel's recognition, but never forgot the insults and disdain that first greeted her. Years later, when the opportunity struck, Sabrina betrayed the king, an offense for which she paid the ultimate price. Alright, so on to this dude. And we had already done some of this. So I've got two keys. 
I guess let's head towards powders. Why not? All right. Uh, we'll from there. Let's get scraps. All right, cool. Let's go to Northern Realms. I do not have enough to transmit, huh? Not even a little. All right, who else do I like to use a lot of Vernon? He needs 800. I guess it depends on how awesome the card is, right? Like these are probably cheap, yeah. All right, what do I use from here pretty often? I tend to use these guys. Oh, but they don't have a animated version. All right. <laughs> eh, maybe it's worth saving in case there's something else I can buy with the powder. guys? Nope. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. So now I've got two moving ones. Just do another quick look here. Ah, she doesn't have one. Boo -boo. Ooh, this one looks really awesome. I'll transmute that one. Love to use that one in a future game. All right, let us maybe grab a couple of kegs, and then that'll be it for this session. Mostly dupes. 
grab that guy. He's pretty fun. Alright, last one. Press Bang! Bang! Back me low how! Grab the new one. Oh, someone was down against me. Alright. This has been Eric playing Gwent. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.